Hello, I'm Alan Arkish, and this is Trailers from Hell. When I'm on the set, the one bit of direction I give over and over is these three words. Pace, pace, pace. I love movies and TV shows that move so fast, you're not sure if you're getting it all the first time that you see it. It's not just the speed at which the dialogue is given, but the clarity of the beats, the time between the beats. As Frank Capra put it, movies are life plus. This is especially true in comedy, where the words need to fall one on top of another. They need to overlap. I've worked on two different television series, Moonlighting and Hellcats, in which the dialogue on the page of two people was actually printed side by side, so you knew what words to overlap. This technique was invented by Howard Hawks for probably one of the most influential and greatest screen comedies of all time, His Girl Friday. In 1939, Howard Hawks was approached by the head of Columbia Pictures, Harry Cohn, about remaking the front page. It had been both a successful play and a movie, but Hawks wasn't interested in the newspaper tale unless he could do something new. One night during a party at his Brentwood house, Hawks had an idea. He picked up a copy of the play and read the part of Walter, but he had an actress friend read the part of Hildy. The gender change made all the difference. The writer, Charles Lederer, added the brilliant idea of making Ace Reporter Hildy Johnson Walter's ex-wife. From the moment Hildy walks through the newsroom office in one unbroken high-energy tracking shot, it's obvious that the remake outshines the original. Cary Grant had enjoyed working with Hawks on Bringing Up Baby and Only Angels Have Wings, but who would play Hildy? Ginger Rogers, Corda Colbert, Carol Lombard, and Irene Dunn, believe it or not, all turned down the part. Rosalind Russell had just finished another fast-talking comedy, The Women. She took the part, and between these two pictures wear some of the best hats in movie history. After two days on set watching Cary Grant steal scenes with his ad-libs, she tried an improv of her own and threw her purse at him. He ducked and quipped, you used to be better than that. Hawks loved it, and it stayed in the picture. Most movie dialogues delivered about 150 words a minute. But in this picture, Hawks cranked it up to 250 words per minute. Yet the pace changes radically for Hildy's interview with the condemned killer. It's a touching and serious scene that goes a long way to show the viewer just how great a reporter Hildy is. I've screened this movie for young actors, an example of just how the screwball comedy needs to be delivered. It was a big influence on the set of Moonlighting. Sybil Shepard, who's a real film buff, would talk about movies for hours. She told me that as Maddie Hayes, she was actually just playing Cary Grant, who she considered the best listener in screen comedy. His reactions are always active and concise. When Hilti drops the bomb on him that she's going to marry Ralph Bellamy, Grant fidgets with the props, his eyes dark from Roz to Ralph, and you can see his mind racing through schemes to break up this pending marriage. The supporting cast are all terrific, especially Ralph Bellamy as a slow on the uptake fiance. Billy Gilbert as the dithering city sealer, and John Quaylen as a tragic killer. But as the title says, it's all about Hildy. It's his girl Friday. Feminist critic Molly Haskell calls her the most positive, uncompromised female screen character of her era. This is a timeless comedy classic.